My name is Trevor and I'm a security guard for a security company in the uh, town of Grand Junction. Yes, I actually have an ex who would overdose. The setting was at a apartment complex and they have multiple youth homeless shelters. This one you can get in at any age. You just gotta be able to qualify and he qualified. I really wish he wouldn't do it in his room because his room is disgustingly trashed there and it could cause for an infection. Even if he does it right and he doesn't bandage it or take care of it, it can cause an infection. And my ex was using, I believe, meth at the time. Yeah, it was meth. A whole 30 thing of, or a whole vial, or a whole syringe of it because he was depressed and he didn't want to be on it anymore. But he went and decided to overdose after I told him not to. All I know is that it was pretty scary. I told him not to use the needle, not to keep injecting himself. He loaded it wrong, and when he injected it, it made his heart stop. And it was just a quick, sudden thing. He went from talking to just completely silent and not moving. And I could see his eyes roll back. So when I saw that, I knew immediately that I had to figure out what to do to help him. And it was really scary to see. I just saw him slump down and become lifeless. And it, in my mind, I'm like, I, do I need to call the cops? Do I need to get one of the employees there? Um, I also contacted his mother to let him, his mother know that he just OD'd and was dying on me. He wasn't breathing, he wasn't moving, and it, his eyes rolled back into his head and he just became lifeless at that point. I ran over to a friend's apartment and grabbed a thing of Narcan, called the employees into his room, and we stood there and I went and Narcan'd him to bring him back. After he was revived, revived, he didn't remember what happened. It just came to a blank to him. I let him know that he just overdosed and I told him I have the paramedics on the way, he needs to go to rehab.